Imagine you're on a trip around Latin America and come across a restaurant. After getting the main course, you get the dessert menu handed to you. You're a really big fan of cake, but you're in a different country, so you're unsure of what to get. You ask the waiter to surprise you with anything. He comes out with one of um, Latin America's most popular desserts, Tres Leches Cake. It seems weird to you, so you ask him for a description of what the cake is. Well, the cake is called Tres Leches Cake, which means three milks. The three milks are evaporated milk, condensed milk, and heavy cream. Today, we will be talking about the delicious history behind the Tres Leches Cake, the ingredients and materials needed to make it, and how to prepare it. First, we will be talking about the delicious history behind the Tres Leches Cake. The, according to Kiwi Lime, Tres Leches Cake is origin is still unknown since a lot of countries claim that it's theirs, especially Mexico and Nicaragua. Although Mexico and Nicaragua also claim this cake, Europe also claims that they have desserts similar to the Tres Leches cake. In the 19th century, there was a recipe for custard braid bre bread soaked in wine, as well as the English trifle and the Italian tiramisu. Tres Leches cake was invented in the 1930s. Companies would use the Tres Leches cake recipe as kind of a way for them to sell more of their products. This cake is never missing in birthdays, graduations, and even weddings. Now that we talked about the history, we'll be talking about the ingredients and materials needed to whip this cake. The ingredients and materials that you'll need will be a large bowl, a mixer, a spatula, and a 10 by 12 cake pan. For the cake itself, you will need 12 eggs, two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one fourth cup of vegetable oil. And for the milk, you will need one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, uh, one cup of heavy cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla. To begin making the cake batter, you will need to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites and mix until it becomes a meringue-like consistency. Once it becomes that meringue-like consistency, you will begin to add the sugar slowly. After adding the sugar, you will begin to add the yolks one by one. Once you have added the sugar and the yolks, you will turn off your mixer and slow, slowly incorporate your flour and your vanilla extract and vegetable oil. You need to make sure that when you're mixing, you mix it in a folding motion rather than a mixing motion so that the consistency of the egg stays the same and it doesn't break. Once you've made your batter, Grease up your pan and put your cake in the oven. It needs to bake for at least 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, you can take out your cake and make sure that with a fork or a toothpick or anything, make sure that the cake does not stick, which means that it's ready. Well, the cake is cooling, you can begin to make your milk mixture with the evaporated milk, the condensed milk, the heavy cream, and the vanilla extract. Once the cake is cooled, you can you divide the cake in half horizontally, and then on the bottom layer of the cake, you will begin to pour in your milk evenly, and then place it on the top, the other layer on the top, and pour the remaining milk on top. Finally, if you choose to, you can decorate the cake Usually, my mom and I add strawberries and whipped cream, but you can add any like fruits or fillings that you choose. But usually, this is what it looks like when my mom and I are done. In my family, Tres Leches cake is a significant part of our culture and is never missing at any of our parties. In conclusion, today we went over the history behind this cake the ingredients and materials needed, 
and how we make the cake. Now we can go back to our trip around Latin America knowing that we now know a little bit more about Latin America's most popular desserts and know that we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to try it.